Hi witchlings, welcome back to my channel. It's your local chaotic witch aunt. Um, today is another video on our Sabbath series and we are talking about Beltane. Um, I actually had a whole intro for this video on my nice camera with my setup um, and then my camera somehow it got corrupted um, as I imported it or even as I took it. So this is me on my phone. <laughs> doing a nice little intro. Um, as you know, the Sabbath series, typically we read from Year of the Witch by Temperance Alden, talk about Beltane, its origins, what you could possibly do for Beltane. And then I open a little box from Factio Matricis, which is now Green Fern Coven that they send me for each Sabbath. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to see this. Uh, you know, I love hearing about what you guys do. If you celebrate Beltane, please let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, sorry that my camera messed up and we're back to this nice little iPhone quality just for this kind of portion of the video. Um, next week is going to be sigil magic. So if you have any requests for that, you can drop that down below and I hope you enjoy the video. Beltane. So it is April 30th slash May 1st. It's halfway between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. So I usually only celebrate the solstices. I may do some things for what we would consider the Celtic Fire Festival. Um, it is a fire festival that is Celtic origin. And it's a fertility holiday, like many spring holidays are. Maypoles are a big kind of part of it. You will see a lot of maples. They represent new vegetation and new growth. Historians believe that the practice of dancing around the maypole dates back to prehistoric times. Some of the Euro earliest European references of the maypole come from the 14th century. Another thing you'll see in Beltane or Beltane is bonfires. It's one of the four Gaelic fire festivals and the Sabbath that is most synonymous with bonfires. You will see a lot of fire. Um, depending on the preferences of the people conducting the ceremony, the Beltane fire may be kindled on Walpurgis night or on Beltane, which is May Eve or May 1st. Walpurgis night is something that you will see in Europe still celebrated. And Beltane is something, May Day is something that, you know, a lot of current European countries still celebrate. By tradition, the Beltane fire contains bundles of nine different types of wood chosen for symbolism and associated, attri associated attributes, such as apple, birch, fire, or fir, grapevine, hawthorn, hazel, oak, rowan, and willow. The sacred Beltane fires have been historically used for ritual, community, and luck, as Ronald Hutton explains in Stations of the Sun. Beltane fire and festivals are a reason to celebrate joy of living and being alive. Um, as we're kind of coming to May Day, you'll see a lot of different types of ceremonies. Some people will use this holiday to celebrate spring fully returning. Um, Beltane is a lot of, a lot of fire. Um, where Ostara is the spring equinox and is more about bringing spring in, Beltane is a it's a, how do I say this? It's a hot, hot kind of holiday. Um, it's very warm. Um, in the Alden's book, she talks about release ceremonies, um, uh, talking about Scottish Gaelic origins of the name Beltane, which roughly translates to male May 1st. You can create a spiritual retreat, mindful meditation, um, this is one of my favorite books for kind of low, low material type of practices and rituals. Um, Beltane last year I actually made a honey cake. Honey cake I believe is traditionally something that we can see in Hellenic paths, but also it's delicious. Um, so that's what I did last year. I gave some offerings to the earth to welcome it back. I will probably do a fire and release ceremony. I have some spell work planned for the full moon in Scorpio, which is on the 26th in two days that I will be doing. And we are opening up Green Fern Coven's little box. Um, usually this has a lot of good stuff. What is going on? So Green Fern Coven always gives me really good stuff. In this one, we have some Beltane tea, marigold soap, um, mini tarot cards, tumbled rose quartz, peace and love dream pillow, and a basil heat pillow. I'm excited about all of these things. This is their little card. This is the marigold soap. 
I actually have been using the Yule soap that I got in my bathroom, so this is gonna be nice. We are just in time for a replacement. We got the Marigold soap falling. Okay, and let's see, ooh, we got some, this looks like the basil heat pillow. No, this is the dream pillow. Yeah, peace and love dream pillow. It has little apples on it. I don't know if you can see the apples. It smells like lavender. I'm a big fan of small satchels of herbs because they smell nice. <laughs> um, this looks like Beltane tea. Ooh, nice. We got a little pack there. And here we go. It is rooibos, chamomile, vanilla, and peppermint. Let's take a sniffy. Oh, that smells so good. So I'll probably make some Beltane tea. I already have, like I said, a full moon ceremony prepped for the full moon in Scorpio, which is on the 26th. This is a small tarot card. Ooh, three of wands and the rose quartz. I've been receiving, receiving a lot of rose quartz recently. Got the two of wands. It's very tiny. Very, very tiny. This is my rose quartz. Um, like I said, you know from my last video, I cut off my hair, um, and so I actually kept the hair. As a release ceremony, I will probably be burning my hair on Beltane. Part of the hair is being used in a particular spell for the full moon, and the other parts of the hair are being kept as an offering, and the other part of my hair is going to be burnt. Um, so, because I had a lot of hair. This is the basil pillow. It's a reusable heating pad. I love reusable heating pads. Also because the full moon is coming, which means everyone is on their periods. Um, if you're not synced up with the full moon, you'll probably be synced up with a new moon. So basil heat pillow is scented with basil, lime, and grapefruit essential oils. It's filled with rice and can be put in the microwave for a few seconds. Um, this is the perfect size for headaches. So you can put it on your face. Um, like I said, Beltane is very much about fire. I'm, I mean, I think it really depends on how you choose to celebrate it. The summer solstice with a bunch of people. So Beltane is a Kel the Gaelic May Day Festival. It's most commonly on May 1st or halfway between the spring equinox or summer solstice. It was historically observed through Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. Beltane is so cool. <laughs> um, there's a lot of really awesome kind of pictures that can give you some idea of what Beltane is for. Um, Beltane, so the Goddess and Green Man, the Beltane Fire Festival. It's an annual participatory of arts event and ritual drama in Edinburgh. So if you're in Edinburgh, you can probably go. I don't know if they're still holding it this year. So five ways to celebrate Beltane with the Green Parent. This is how I usually decide what I'm doing. Create something together. Seek out the fairies. Just kidding. We're not using this site. <laughs> Um, please don't go seek out the the fair folk, the sheed, or whatever. You can pay you can pay tribute to land spirits that you're taking care of. If you're interested in hearing more about land spirits or you know approaching spirit work, you can go watch my approaching the spirit work video. But please don't try to contact the sheed. I it, don't think don't don't in Wicca the god and goddess fuck darn Beltane. Anyways. I spent Beltane making last semester honey cakes, flower crowns, um, I spent time outside. I really just like spent the day in nature um, and that was my way of celebrating it. I didn't do as much fire as I probably should have since it's a fire festival. Um, but yeah, these videos are usually shorter than my normal ones and we had a bunch of interruptions on this one which like, ooh boy. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to utilize the things in this package. I think that this Beltane, if you're not sure what to do, make a little fire, release something. Um, like I said, Temperance Alden's release ceremony is really great and something that I'm going to be doing as we move into the hotter months. Um, I am very excited. Let me see if there's anything else in here. I don't usually, like I said, I don't usually celebrate the Gaelic um, fire festivals as heavily as I celebrate the solstices and equinoxes. The reason to celebrate the joy of living and being alive. 
Um, one of the attributes of solar energy is the capacity to fertilize and simulate growth. And that great bonfires at the beginning of summer represent the creative heat and light and the warmth of fertility of all kinds from the fires we feel in our loins to forge fires and the fires of poetic inspiration. I love this. So I would also, because I set manifestations around winter, I probably get get pushing those a little harder um and rework them like i rework every single sabbath and every single kind of day of power i will go into my manifestations rework them add to them change them up a little bit um just to give them a little bit more creative energy so in the midst of doing a release ceremony and maybe kind of taking some time out of my day to visit the cemetery um and bring some creative light and warmth back i think that it's going to be a great chance for you to do creative things if you can't actually do a bonfire you can write some poetry you can read a book if you're a content creator create content um spend your day doing something that you love that brings you creativity to welcome back in the summer months um but yeah and like i said as always i will link green fern coven down below and Temperance Alden's book, Year of the Witch, if you're interested. Um, if you know what you're doing for Beltane, please let me know. Um, I may add on to some ideas of doing it. Maybe I'll make a honey cake. I do really like honey cake, um, if you make it right. <laughs> But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I know these videos are shorter than normal, but let me know what you're planning to do for Beltane in the comments. If you want to leave a like, subscribe, comment, turn the bell on, you totally can, but no pressure. I hope you have a great rest of your day.